Coffee. <laughs> Part three. Um, this was a walk around. Um, hope you guys watched the first two videos. Um, this one's just a walk around. I have the body on the chassis. And I'm just kind of showing an up close of it. Um, actually in here in the kitchen. I'm showing a up close of it. A um, couple of things. Me being an artist, it's hard for me. Like, I'm really hard on myself, so uh, I'll explain that in the video. Um, and now I'm actually, people are calling me and asking me to like do more paint and stuff. So it's kind of hard because I like doing stuff like my own. I mean, I think if I did it for a job, it'd be different. But uh, for now, I'm just going to do my own stuff. And uh, we'll see how things work out. And maybe I'll start painting other people's bodies. But right now, I'm just going to do my own stuff. Um, so I hope you like the video. And uh, <clears throat> I'll see you at the end. All right, guys. So here it is on the body or on the chassis, I guess. Um, so I, I got to trim it. There's some trimming spots I got to trim here. I think there's a... With the the turnbuckle here, that right there, I gotta trim that. So there's a couple things. Um, like I said, I don't know if I want to run it. I think I'm just gonna keep it when I have it like on the shelf. Uh, and then I'm in I'm in the kitchen because of lighting. But so this video, I'm just gonna do a quick uh, overview of what, when I painted it, you know, and um, things that I've learned, things that I. I'm going to do different, I guess, next time. Um, one was being the regulator, right? But, um, like, me being an artist, is it's I, I critique myself so much. So, I should have put maybe, like, an uh, outline or more, more shadowing there. I don't know. I think it really came out really good. But, I mean, like, some of my lines, you know, they're not really straight. But... I mean, this body's meant to get bashed up, you know, and look good going fast. <clears throat> and again, I'm just, I overanalyze everything that I do. And it's hard being an artist, I guess. Because I am my biggest critique. So, yeah. So, like, here, you know, I could have put more shadow. That way, it this would pop out more. See how, like, the, the rust kind of makes it kind of stand out a little bit. And then, if I would have had the airbrush regulated the air pressure right I think I could have made the shadow more of a slick but I I really like it overall and you see how the I got the little shadow underneath so I mean it came out really well see the shadow oh, oh my finger see the shadow there so I try to put some here too but it, it would it was spraying the, the PSI was so high it was just like spraying crazy and then it would slow down spraying crazy so I kind of had to work with it um, here I use a stencil and then to a point where I had to use a brush to make my line straighter. Um, I like the way it turned out. I try to make the flames kind of even. So, you know, they go whip around, whip around. So it kind of looks, so it kind of has a symmetrical, is that the right word to use or symmetrical? Like I said, I'm probably going to order another body and just do a two-tone. So it's going to be purple with the white slashes. And then I use this. I don't even know when I put stickers on it because it just looks so clean. But I know this video is probably really long now because I used the uh, all, like every time I stopped, every time I did a different color, I would stop and shoot a little video. So it's probably going to be really long. And so if you stayed this far, thank you for watching. Um, I want to do more airbrush, not on just uh, on my RC cars, but I want to do uh, more airbrushing. Um, I used to paint cars a long time ago, and I painted some motorcycles. So painting is always something that I've always done. Um, I used to airbrush also, but I was never done nothing crazy like this. So I kind of like it. Maybe I want to do. Maybe I'll do some more. Um, so keep out look out for that. Oh, oh sorry. Trying to go around my stool. I'm showing the shadows. So more shadows there. See this one, this side has more of a shadow there. And then the rust, so. Um, yeah, guys. So I hope you liked it. Like, subscribe. If you have any questions on how I, you know, more 
the detailing and how I use the liquid mask and stuff, just uh, leave a comment. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Uh, all three videos, um, I thought it was pretty neat. Um, like I said, I'm still I'm still amazed of how well it came out. Um, like I said, I I went in I went in this really nervous because it's been so long since I painted. So, but I hope you guys liked it. Um, I will be doing another body, actually two more bodies that I'm painting. I don't know if they're gonna be as elaborate as this. I don't know yet. We're, we'll see. Oh, and then I'm also gonna buy another Agama body, right? Like I said about four or five times in this video. But um, I hope you guys like. And I got some more trucking vlogs coming. And um, some other stuff I have in the works, I think. What else do I got? So there's a lot of stuff coming. Um, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and uh, share. Tell a friend. Um, and if you guys want to do more like uh, teachable moments, or like not teachable moments, but like how to paint or whatever, I can do that too. So uh, just let me know. All right, guys. Have a good one.